you've got everything painted up, the next thing you do is get your vehicle up on jack stands. And I leave the jack in place as well because I just want to have a little bit of extra insurance. But basically you get four of these, eight of the nuts, eight of the washers, and two of the nuts here. Those are going to hold these onto the traction bars. So this is pretty straightforward actually. These shackles go over the top of the spring, face downward on each side of the U-bolts uh, that are already there. And the traction bar just goes right underneath. And when it's sitting level on the ground, when the vehicle's sitting level on the ground, you want this bar to be parallel with the frame. And this, the very tip of this, to be about a half an inch away from the spring. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put these in place and just not tighten the bolts, but just put them enough where it kind of it holds everything in position, put it back on the ground, make sure everything's level, and then go ahead and make sure my uh, rubber ends a half an inch away from my spring. So for my application, this is what we've got. Notice that the, uh, well, it's up in the air right now, so you probably can't actually notice, but I've tried to make that as parallel as I can with the frame of the truck. And actually, I've got up, done a pretty good job with it. We're about half an inch or so, actually a little closer than a half an inch, uh, with that bumper from the bottom. I may have to trim some of that off a little bit because really, to get the best angle I could out of this, I had to put a couple of shims in the back. I used some three quarter inch aluminum square tubing to put between the leaf and the traction bar. And actually from this angle, you can kind of see that the frame is pretty much parallel. Even though the vehicle's off the ground right now, when I put it on the ground, it's definitely as parallel as it's gonna get. So I may have to trim off that rubber snub nose a little bit just to give it a little bit more clearance. But I'm not sure quite how well this is gonna work out because I'm, I'm only getting like two inches ground clearance from this because I have the four inch lowering blocks on it. So I guess we'll see how it works out. But I'm gonna try to take it to the track Wednesday, see how it runs, and we'll see our ground clearance. I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the right side as well, and then I'll upload the video of uh, taking it to track on Wednesday, a little later on this week. But I thank you very much for watching YouTube. I hope this helps you out with your install and uh, kind of sheds a little bit of light on these traction bars and we'll see how they work. So stay tuned. Thank you.